Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Brittany Rainey. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. We now have Tropical Depression 5 out in the Atlantic, and this is going to be heading off to the west-northwest. This is what we're keeping an eye on. It could be impacting the Lesser Antilles around Tuesday, and then we have another tropical wave that is currently sitting in southern Florida. It's a broad area of low pressure, so we'll first take a look at what we now have as Tropical Depression 5. This is a compact storm. It is starting to get some deeper convection, and it does have that closed circulation. The environment that's going to be moving into over the next couple of days we're going to see that wind shear dropping off mixed with the warm water so we are expecting it to strengthen as it gets closer to the island so right now it currently has about 35 mile per hour winds but as it nears the lesser Antilles it looks like it could even potentially have winds of 65 miles an hour by Tuesday and then we'll continue to watch it from there current projection does have it getting up to a category one in the eastern Caribbean so that's definitely something that we're going to keep an eye on and we've been telling you about this tropical wave that is sitting in southern Florida it's over land right now which is why we're not seeing it really develop a whole lot more and get more organized but we are definitely still seeing a lot of that convection out in the Atlantic the Bahamas have been picking up quite a bit of rainfall from this it's still going to move over land for a little while longer about today into tomorrow heading north and then it's going to move out into the Atlantic about Sunday into Monday. So once it gets out over the Atlantic, that's when we are expecting it to develop into a tropical depression or subtropical depression. So we're keeping an eye on that. But for us here in Tampa, we're not seeing a whole lot of impacts from it because it's on the other side of the state. So what it's really doing for us is drawing in some drier air and it's actually minimizing our rain coverage but on the East Coast. They're dealing with some increased surf conditions and also some higher rainfall totals. But you can see those computer models taking it out over the Atlantic. We do also have a front coming off of the East Coast, so that's going to help steer it away from the East Coast of the United States. And the heaviest precipitation definitely in the Bahamas, and then you can see where those oranges and pinks are. That's where we're looking at the highest rainfall totals, and notice that that's also out over the ocean. So both of these will continue to keep an eye on for you and keep you updated. Have a great Saturday.